how we doing? Today is of course day 30, post-op from my mini bypass gastric surgery uh, that I had on Valentine's Day, 14th of February. Day 30, how about that? <laughs> Um, so a bit of news from me, uh, today I finally managed to get to go and see my GP. Uh, so anyone following will know that I have had my eight-year-old son at home uh, for the beginning of this week as he had a bit of a cough. Rat test came back normal this morning, uh, still negative, so I quite happily drove up to school and just slowed down enough slightly for him to roll out of the car and then I sped off laughing. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding but yeah he definitely got dropped at school hey joe gorgeous um so finally got to do spend a day doing stuff that i needed to do which was fun um so yes got in to see my gp so i did mention uh on a video last week at some stage about some physical side effects that i was having from my mini gastric bypass uh, or my mini bypass surgery that wasn't necessarily sort of you know anything to do with eating so to speak um so i was having those really restless nights sleep and vivid dreams happy to report the vivid dreams are getting less and less now still having a very restless sleep um but not as many vivid dreams now so as they all promised um that should disappear about a month post-op which is is what we are at now and i can definitely see that they are getting better um the other two sort of physical side effects that I was getting post-op was giddiness, lightheadedness, um, especially when standing from a sitting or a lying down position. But even when I'm in a standing position and I'm maybe just exerting a lot of energy, I can get those white spots in my eyes and the ringing in my ears and really afraid that I'm going to pass out. Um, and the other one was pins and needles uh, in my arm. So... Was meant to see the GP on Monday. That got delayed till today. Um, and had a very atypical GP consult where I sat in the car and we did most of the consult over the phone and then I just went in for the bare minimum blood pressure tests. COVID, it's a weird world, right? Um, but essentially what it has been put down to is she's checked everything over. Everything's looking good. Uh, what it has come down to is, and it had a really long medical name, um, which loosely translates to loose, uh, low blood blood pressure when standing due to lack of liquid on board. It was basically how it got translated into my language. Um, so she has really said to me that I need to be pushing to two liters a day minimum, which worries me <laughs> because I was only just hitting the one point five liters. Um, but really, there's nothing else that we can do but try and increase my fluids um, and increase a little bit more salt into my diet. Um, so I'm really going to have to sit down and analyse how I'm going to manage that because I'm honestly not too sure at this stage. I am only just getting that one and a half litres in now. Um, so... I really need to try and get it to two litres a day to try and deal with this because there's nothing else that we can do to help with the lightheadedness. It really just does come down to that sort of form of dehydration. The pins and needles, on the other hand, she put me down as a medical mystery. <laughs> no reason that she knew of. Um, she checked all my lymph nodes, um, checked various parts of my hand. It can't be anything to do with nerves um, because where the pins and needles go... Uh, actually cover off three separate nerve blocks um, and it would just be very bizarre for three separate nerve blocks to be going dead at once. Um, so just pure medical mystery uh, to keep an eye on things and see if that changes. We both speculated that it could well be something just to do with my rapid weight loss. Of course 13 kilos in one month. Um, you know my lower back and my hips and now my knees as well are certainly telling me that my body has not adjusted to the posture I need to have now at this lower weight. Such a rapid weight loss can do havoc on your joints. Um, because when you slowly lose that weight, your posture slowly changes and adjusts. The centre of gravity changes, such like that. But with a dramatic weight loss, uh, it just doesn't happen. Um, so we did speculate it could be something to do with that. But we'll just monitor it and carry on. Um, she, of course, checked 
various different vitals and told me what to look out for if it moves into my chest, obviously related to my heart, but everything like that it was totally fine. So medical mystery for that one. Not the first time I've been a medical mystery. I need to drink more to help with the giddiness. So that's fun. We'll try and figure that out. <laughs> um, otherwise, not a whole lot to report. I had one of, uh, what did I have this morning? My pro new protein shakes. I had the mixed berry flavor protein shake this morning. Quite good. Quite good. Happy with that. Um, I was planning on having the ice cream tonight. But I have had just a manic day. Um, being the first day this week that I've managed to get some work done, uh, of course, being self-employed, having a kid home is not ideal. So uh, I have just been absolute <sighs> gas pedal down all day. <laughs> um, plus fitting in a GP appointment. So I just completely slipped my mind and I never made an ice cream. So I was actually quite upset about that about half an hour ago when I realised um, so I am going to make one shortly, so it's in the freezer for tomorrow night. <laughs> um, so yes, reviews yet to come on the ice cream. Uh, but otherwise, that is me. I'm going to make an ice cream to put in the freezer for tomorrow and head to bed because it has honestly been such a big day. Um, and whilst I'm only having a nap every three or four days now, a big taxing day mentally is takes it out of me just as much as is physical anything like that joe you're having massive issues with pain in your tailbone yeah absolutely so everyone joe is post bariatric surgery as well she's a few well more than a few months ahead of me um and yeah absolutely your body is so much compensating um there's a lot to go on your body really does have to make a shift right so all of these things, when you go in for bariatric surgery, you're like, right, this is going to change my life because I'm going to eat totally different. And then there's just all of these other things. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I decided to wear my hoodie today because I don't know how much longer I can pull this off. But um, this is my sexy isn't a dress size. Yes, it's backwards because that's just what Facebook does. Sexy isn't a dress size. Sexy isn't attitude. Um... You know, eventually this is just going to look ridiculous on me. It's going to be way too big. So just pulling that off while I can. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm going to make some ice cream. What flavour? Okay, we need votes. Okay, we need votes. What flavour ice cream should I be making? We have got cookies and cream, caramel butterscotch, or mixed berry. Throw your votes. What ice cream should I make for tomorrow night? Caramel butterscotch, cookies and cream, or mixed berry? Let me know your thoughts. <laughs>